And, and that processing time might take take more time than just normal production welding because that AI and that vision uh, software that you're utilizing or, or sensors, whatever it may be, right, may not be the best for a high production run. And, and, and this kind of can go into a job shop that does high weld time, right? When it comes to something that's like high weld time and, and job shops, there's gonna be an analyzation phase where the robot has to analyze uh, the part. Now when I say for the high weld time ones, that's gonna be more of the job shop uh, high weld time applications. Now if you're doing something like trailer frames and they're exactly the same every single time, it may not have to go through this deep of an analyzation process, but it still may be a good idea for your robot to go through, scan one time, take a measurement of that product before it starts its weld so that way it can make any adaptivity that it needs to make to adjust for any part ambiguity because one of the biggest problems with any type of welding but especially robotic welding is the parts that the child parts that are being welded are not always consistent so when it comes to the long weld time type of applications you might want to use things like that also